Hi, I'm Daniel Douglas with D3 Technologies, and in this video I will be covering T-splines with symmetrical objects. First, I click on the Create Form button, and I'll enter the Sculpt Environment. Next, I'm going to the Create Dropdown tab, and I'm going to select a T-spline to build. I'm going to select the box. First, I'm going to select a plane, and then I'm going to select a center. I can change this to a two-point rectangle and I can decide whether it extends on one side or symmetrically. So I'm going to click on the center, and drag it out, and there we go. Now I have an option for my height. I can change my height faces. As you see, I'm increasing the number of faces on the height. So I'm going to go back to two. I can select the number of faces on my width and the number of faces all along the length, so on the top and the bottom. I can also decide whether it is symmetrical or one-sided, and I am going to try some symmetry. I'm going to go down to mirror, and we can select length, width, or height the symmetry. I'm going to go with height the symmetry, press OK. Next, I am going to clear my symmetry, selecting my object and clearing the symmetry. I can apply symmetry again by clicking internal symmetry. I select a face and I select an adjacent face. So I'm mirroring from here to here. So that mirrors for the entire body now. I can deselect those and there we go. If I make a change while symmetry is applied, and then I clear my symmetry, that symmetry, that feature that was changed during my symmetry remains. I hope this was informative. Have a nice day.